DJ Williams is here with me as well. And this is how the Humble Land team will line up. They will play in 4-3-3. Hassani Barnes between the six. Lincoln Thompson, Fabian Pasco, Afiba Chambers, the captain, Zidane Christie. Jason White, the young teenager who will play in the defensive midfield role. Clear Clark, the player to watch for today with a couple goals behind his name already. Standout player for Garvey Maceo at the high school level. Andre Clennon has been around for such a long time. 34 years of age now and over 30 goals in his Premier League career. James Thomas, Dr. James Tom Thomas. Welcomed himself back to the Premier League after a long hiatus and has had a reasonably good season. Jardiel Williams and Romari Harris complete the starting lineup. They are coached by Linville Wilson, who took over the reins from one Vassal Reynolds a few weeks ago. Big defender in his time, Linville Wilson. Just a shade under 60 years of age now. Lime Hall, they all shape up with the same 4 3 3. It's Jaheim Williams between the sticks. As always, has had a pretty good season. One of the highlight players for Lime Hall, if they were to have one. So too the captain, Tamani Sewell. Rohan Sewell is also in the starting lineup. Carlos Campbell, the attacking midfielder. Devante Redmond, Ronaldo Hansen, Shaquille Kane, Sajay Anderson, Marlon Buckley, O'Neill Henry, and Maurice Mitchell. First we're seeing him, their number 15, their head coach, Hopton Gilchrist. From start to finish, it was all humble line in their green and red. Cleo Clark with the first shot, not on target though. Looking to bend it into the far corner, but over the top. And then this moment, stealing the ball from Lime Hall and making them pay. Slotting it through the legs of Jaheim Williams for his third of the season, Cleo Clark. That came after 28 minutes. And it would just be the first of many for Humble Lion. Andre Clennon putting that into the area for Jardel Williams put it through the legs of Anderson but couldn't find the back of the net then Clennon again putting that into the area Jardel Williams with an attempt which was blocked by Jaheim Williams Clennon kept it alive it would fall to the dock but he couldn't put it on target hand of apology then Harris into the area Sewell thought he had got it away Rohan Sewell had other ideas putting it back into his 18 yard box Cleo Clark was waiting and made it count poor defending from Lime Hall's number 21 just flicking it back into the danger area and Cleo Clark one time with the left boot four on the season for him a brace and this was still in the first half Clark couldn't believe his luck and it was about to get better Thomas with a strike off the upright Jaheim Williams not even interested in trying to get across to the strike had that been on target it certainly would have found its way in the back of the net because Williams stood still then here James Thomas into Clark Clark had so much space look at this here the lime hall defenders backing away including the captain Damani Sewell and I'm not sure what Jaheim Williams was thinking between the sticks for lime hall made no attempt and gifted the hat-trick to Cleo Clark who said thank you very much with open arms yeah three on the game a hat-trick five on the season for Clark now into the second half Pasco going after the target and William tipping it onto his crossbar and over almost looked like he wasn't interested in getting up there to save that William the technique was a bit awkward and luckily for him the crossbar helped him then Andre Clinton driving in, trying to play for Vida, nobody there to finish it. Much to his disappointment. Yet they kept coming forward. Swaby across the area into the path of Andre Clinton, who doubled his tally to, of the season. Now on two goes. Swaby picking up the assist and just way too easy. Clinton really couldn't miss from there. The 34 year old and 4-0 to home line at that point. Clennon would be removed just after his goal. So too was Cleo Clark. Linval Wilson. 
bring in the changes. Orlando Brown had so many chances. Hit the crossbar. Induced a couple of saves from Jaheim Williams. And then had a sit on the line. There's another chance for Brown that he couldn't convert. And then Brian hitting over the top. At this stage, still 4-0. And Brian could do nothing to get a goal of his own. Then Shondal Anderson driving down the right-hand side into Brown yet again. And he couldn't put it past Devontae Redmond, who was on the line. Orlando Brown just couldn't believe it. He was saying, boy, the gods were conspiring against him. Orlando Brown. McCarthy, though. Well, the gods were with him should never have got that ball back sixes and nines were the lime hall defenders lack of communication jaheem williams uncertain as to whether to come and McCart mccarty just put it through his legs for five on the evening humble lion surging away and mccarty getting his first of the season look at that from brown that was the easiest chance of them all into him and Brown, well, nearly hit the clouds up above. Shandad Anderson, again on that right hand side, showed his quality, powering that pass. Substitute goalkeeper Damian Robinson, who had come off, come on for the lackluster, lackluster, Jaheim Williams. Anderson with his second of the season, and Humble Lion with six, was nearly seven. Brown had one more chance and off the upright. Brown the underneath of the crossbar and it stayed out. Kessler Anderson had seen enough and so had most. Humble Lion 6, Lime Hall nil. Nothing on target over 90 minutes for Lime Hall. 16 shots on target from 31 attempts for the Humble Lion team. They scored 6. Just one yellow card showed by Kessler Anderson, three offsides for Lime Hall. They had one corner and their goalkeeper made 10 saves. Jaheim Williams between himself and Damian Robinson. They had 45% possession but did nothing with it. And Humble Lion with a thorough performance through the statistics and a six goal margin in terms of their victory. The man of the match could have been no other than our Hattrick Hero who is with the Jane Williams. Clark, today's man of the match. It's definitely not the first hat trick you've scored in your career, but first in your senior career, how do you feel about that? Well, um, it's an amazing feeling. It wasn't my um, great, it wasn't my best game, but it's an amazing feeling. And, and do you see that as more of a catapult for greater things for you at this level? Yes, sure. Um, well, it's a learning process, game by game, and surely we'll see more. And you know, the Humble Line team is a very young one. You'd have come up against a lot of these players, maybe at the Costa Cup level. Is that a good feeling for you to play with some of these players? Yes, it is a great feeling. Um, we, are, we still have a lot of experience, same way. Um, meanwhile, with the, um, the youngster coming into Premier League, so it's a great feeling playing with my Costa Cup and Manning Cup players. Well, excellent performance today. Congratulations on your first hat trick and many more to come. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Clear Clark Day, today's man of the match. And a, a player coach, not something that we see very often, but I have to ask you from a coaching perspective.